Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Going. In today's video, we will talk about this kind of topic, which is the algebraic expressions, which is under the grade 7 mathematics here in the Philippines. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here algebra expressions. Now basically, in this kind of topic, this one is the introduction for the algebra. So what we have here is 2x squared plus 5. So we will try to give you the different parts of a given algebra expression using these examples. First, we have the terms. So what are the terms of this kind of al algebra expression? The terms are counted based on the separation given by the operations addition or subtraction. In this algebra expression, guys, we have two terms. At yung terms natin ay ito. Itong 5 and 2x squared. These are the terms. Now, aside from the terms, meron pa tayong ibang parts. Basically, meron tayong tinatawag na variable. The variable is the letter. Or the letters that represents numbers. So this is your variable. The variable is x. Okay? Next, Aside from the variable, we also have the coefficient. The coefficient is the number beside any given variable. Here, in this given term 2x squared, your variable is x. The coefficient is the number on the left side of any variable. So what's next? After that, we also have this number 5, which is your constant. Constant is a part of an algebra expression with a fixed value. Okay? So, maybe you will be confused about the coefficient and constant. Yung pinagkaiba nila is that yung coefficient, it is part of a term with a variable wherein the constant, it can stand alone without the variable. So, aside from that, meron din tayong tinatawag na exponent. This number here at the top of the variable, on the upper right of the variable, is your exponent. So, these are the different parts of any given algebra expression. In the next part of our video, we will talk about the different types or kinds of algebra expressions. So here are the different types of algebra expression. So what we have here are the different words. We have the monomial, binomial, trinomial, and polynomial. Now in this, in this part of the video, guys, these are the types or the kind of expressions. By the way, guys, the kind of expressions in an algebra expression, it depends on the number of terms. Okay? Again, it depends on the number of terms. Here, for the monomial, meron lang tayong one term. Kapag binomial naman ang pag-uusapan, we have two terms. Kapag trinomial, Three terms. Kapag naman polynomial, three, two, up, or three or more terms. So for you to visualize well, pas, para mas maintindihan mo, ano ibig sabihin ng monomial, binomial, trinomial, and polynomial, I will give you two examples for each type of expression. For monomial, I could say that an example is this, 3x squared. This one is a monomial, a single-termed algebra expression. Next, we can also consider this one, negative 2a, b, c. Though meron tayong three different variables, ito ay isang term lang. So, I will add one more. 
So I could say that this one is a monomial, a constant, single term lang yan. So let's continue with the binomial. For the binomial naman, two terms. So again, I told you earlier that the terms are separated by the addition or the subtraction symbol. First example of binomial is x plus y. 1 and 2. First and second term. Separated by the addition sign. So let me give you another example. We have negative 5x squared plus z. This one is also an example of binomial. So let me add another example for this. Let's try having 13a plus 5. 1, 2. We have two terms. So let's move on for the trinomial. We have three terms. For three terms, simply lang yan. Let's say x plus y minus z. This one is a trinomial. 1, 2, 3. Separated by addition or subtraction. Let me give you last one example for the trinomial. We have 2x squared y z squared minus 5xy cubed plus 10. This one is a trinomial. 1, 2, and 3. Okay, guys? So let's move on with the polynomial. This is 3 to up terms or 3 or more, 3 to more terms. So, first example natin is that we have. Oh, guys, I have a correction here. This, no, this one is not 3 to up because if this is 3 to up, meaning. Trinomial is included. So I could say that this one is 4 terms and above. 4 terms and above. So let's continue. We have A plus B plus C plus D. This one example is an example of polynomial. Next, so I will use this space. The lower part, we have 2 a to the 4th power plus 3b cubed minus c squared plus 2d minus 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. This one is an example of polynomial. So I hope guys na kuha niyo mismo um concept about the different types of algebraic expression. Let us, let's have a review first. When you say polynomial, one term. Oh, sorry, monomial is one term. Binomial is a two-term expression. Trinomial is a three-term three algebraic expressions. So when you say polynomial, this one is four or more term of a kind of algebraic expressions. In the next part of our video, we will try to identify the type of expression, the degree, variables, and, con and constant. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, define na natin briefly yung mga terms na ginamit natin. Okay? So, meron tayo dito, you're asked to find the type. At yung given ex algebra expressions natin, we will say, or we will determine if it is monomial, Binomial, trinomial, or polynomial. For the variables naman, these are the letters, okay? For the degree, hey guys, for the degree of the polynomial, this one is the, if single term lang yung, ter, single variable lang yung terms ng meron tayo sa bawat term natin, or single variable lang meron tayo sa bawat term, titignan natin yung merong pinakamataas na exponent. Okay? Pero, Kung yung bawat term ng ating expression ay merong um, two or more variables, kailangan natin i-add yung kanilang exponents. Okay? 
And a constant naman is the number without the variable. So, tingnan natin eh. In the first one, we have 3x squared plus 2x plus 15. Now, ano yung type nito? Ang type nito is that we have 1, 2, and 3. Ibig sabihin, kung meron tayong 3 terms, this one is a trinomial. Okay? For the variables, or variable, as you can see, we only have a single variable, which is x. Now, for the degree, as I have told you earlier, ito yung highest exponent existing sa isang variable. Yung variable x natin, meron tayong sa first term, at meron tayong second term. Dito, comparing the exponents, dito kasi meron tayong exponent na 1, invisible. Comparing 2 and 1, mas greater or greater si 2. Meaning, the degree is 2. Okay? What about the constant? For the constant, the constant is positive 15 or simply 15. Okay? So, let's continue. We have x plus y squared. For x and plus y squared naman, guys, bilangin natin yung ating terms. 1 and 2. Meaning, the type is binomial. For the variable, we have x and y. For the degree, compare natin. The variable x has the exponent of 1, while the variable y has the exponent of 2. Which one is greater? Itong greater natin in 2. Therefore, the degree is 2. So what about the constant? Wala pa kami nakikita number. For the constant, if the constant doesn't exist, meaning the constant of the given expression is 0. Okay? So let's continue. Dito, bilangin natin yung terms. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Meaning, this one is a polynomial. So, what about the variables? The variables, kung makapansin mo tatlo, A, B, C. So, we have A, B, and C. So, what about the degree? Eh, yung degree natin dito, kapag ganito guys, marami yung variables sa bawat term, i-add natin. Pakita natin ha. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. So, dito, kung i-add mo yung mga degree, yung exponent ng bawat term, 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2, that is 4. Dito naman, 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 2, that is 5. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So, comparing these numbers, the greatest is 5, meaning the degree is 5. So, what about the constant? The constant is negative 2. Okay? So, let's continue. Here, yung ating algebra expression is simply is a constant. Single term lang siya, meaning that is a monomial. What about the variable? Variable natin is none. Wala. Degree? Remember guys ha, if the algebra expression is a constant, automatic the degree is zero. So what about the constant? The constant is 15. So yun. I hope guys na makatulong sa inyo yung video na to to clarify things about the introduction about algebra expressions, the types of expression based on the number of terms, yung parts of the expression, and then yung katulad ito. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!